Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're sat waiting for our coal train to arrive at the uh, at the platform. The one we rode at the end if you stayed for that. And uh, that's a journey now, isn't it? It's actually longer than I thought once you sit on the train itself. While we wait for some money, because we spent pretty much everything, I also did a cheeky little bit of official episode before we started. This was all sorts of wrong. Our trucks on the incorrectly named haulage line, I'm still not happy with it, but thankfully you guys had some suggestions, which uh, we're going to go through. Then we'll rename it, and uh, and then we'll uh, wait for some money, I guess, because we need to set up the iron line as well, don't we? And then that's still underway, or at least preparing for uh, steel production. We need to find somewhere to send it as well. So then, haulage, there comes our first trucks. Are you full? You should be, shouldn't you? Yeah, there we go. They carry seven at a time. Uh, what sort of line rate do we have here? I guess as long as these two align, that's all we need, isn't it? Let's uh, see what we can see. Got a line rate of 77. Not sure how accurate these are at the moment. Uh, it does look like we'll need another truck, possibly. We'll see once they've done a little little run backwards and forwards. But haulage, Palmdale coal haulage. No, that's not what we're going with. First off, we had Mad Hatter. His suggestion was brake bulk, which I had to look up. Never heard of that before. Um, from what I could tell, mainly shipping is uh, what brake bulk would be used for. Yeah, there's some, there's some interesting ones for you to research. But So I've decided against that. There's four that we've got. I have settled on one. Uh, we've got Carol Wolf Pup with Portage, again, on the shipping theme, mainly, uh, mostly. <laughs> uh, then we've got Brendan Massaro. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, staging. Staging I like the sound of, very railroady. Pretty much where you set up all the consists, or at least have the, uh, the staging area the consists so individual blocks of a consist before you put them all together so staging works and then we've got transfer by mad max <laughs> the mad max is it I, I doubt it but uh yes transfer transfer is pretty descriptive isn't it that's spot on i would say i'm i'm torn between staging and transfer i like staging because it, it's certainly railroady isn't it but yeah, staging. I don't think I've ever used staging in in my naming convention. So that may be a new thing. Okay, so we've got that sorted. We've still got to wait quite a while for this to load. We'll keep an eye on the on the line rates here. See with that it's already gone up to 45. I'm going to say possibly one more at least. I mean, it doesn't matter if our trucks are sat up there waiting I, I don't think they will be it'll be more of a case uh, if we we go over the line break that they'll just keep piling it on here and then it'll be full we can adjust that can't we we can get it uh, about right we could take as much as we can possibly manage here uh, the line rate we want to go for is it going to be 400 possibly yeah 400 which were miles off both on the rails and on the road or on our staging transfer <laughs> our transfer staging yeah so there we go well at least that's a better name isn't it palmdale coal staging it certainly uh makes more sense than haulage we have another train on the way back here that's going to be picking up some crude once we've got coal and iron underway it's only going to be the first sort of pickup that's a bit slow but once we've got these underway our money should go up quite rapidly we'll get to see today i hope no we will get to see today won't we easily uh, how much these uh these are going to make us this one should make us fairly decent i mean it's quite the journey isn't it even if you draw a straight line as the crow flies which is how roughly we get paid or it is how we get paid uh, from station to station 
Line rate, how are we doing? 43. Yeah, we'll need another one. Do we have any paydays incoming? I think that will be empty, yeah, because we've already got one. Now, the way this works, this uh, massive, what is this? The Eastern Corridor, isn't it? Yeah, the East Corridor. The way this works, every other train has fuel on. So once we merge the trains, so we only have two running this, but longer, that should be perfect. Both trains should be uh, taking double. No, they should be taking the same amount. We may need to rework all of this, though, to account for that. Uh, it might mean smaller trains shunting this in some sort of passing loop. Uh, which could work, couldn't it? That could work quite well. We'll, we'll see. We'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But yeah, we do have some paydays incoming. I did see one. That one's making its way down the helix. Yes. <laughs> so that'll be a payday there. We've got this one that's making its way up to Clearwater's uh, refinery, isn't it? Yeah, fuel refinery. Got another goods factory here. Is that one of the new ones? Possibly. Money, that's what we're waiting on because we are uh, absolutely broke. We can check on a few things while we wait though. Make sure we're meeting line rates. Is the line rate a little better here? We're now up to 87. About a minute on the frequency. They would like 73. So we're more than meeting the demand there. That's nice, isn't it? We don't need to mess with that just yet. Let's speed things up. I just paused it as we got another payment in as well. What one was that? We got this one up at Clearwater Fuel Refinery and we got this one just come in as well. I would imagine, yeah, you're dropping off at the moment. Perfect. Right. Well, then we should increase the rate these are dropping off. Maybe two? Two sounds nice. We can always sell one, can't we? But to get this initial delivery done, because I'm going to assume, yeah, we're very, very full on there. No point setting up like storage and stuff because we're not up to speed and it's infinite resources. So we don't need to worry about wasting any. Right. Manage vehicles. Let's just uh, double that up. Yeah. Clone them. Mass clone. We could also put the signals in, couldn't we? Talking of which, signals, there was uh, a little bit of head scratching on what these three heads would mean on a signal. I did some research, uh, various wiki pages and railroad documents and stuff. Back in this era, 1922, not specifically 1922, but uh, from the transition from semaphore to these, these would represent routes with the fastest route being at the top and then the slower routes heading down. So it would be, this one would be the main line at the top. It could show red, green or yellow, plus flashing. I think there's white as a possibility. You have to remember in the US, depending on the railroad operator, dictates what the signals do. Uh, but a common use for them would have been these representing routes. So diverging would have been these two. For our setup, anyway, that's what I'm going with. I would say the middle one would be coming into this platform, as that has uh, the least amount of switching to do. And the bottom one would be multiple switches, right? I think, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. That kind of works, doesn't it? So, yeah, they do uh, dictate routes and whether they're clear or not. I don't understand why those are there. Let's get rid of those. We'll do our own scenery. And uh, so, yes, there we go. That's uh, what those will mean for us. Now, there's one thing we haven't done yet, and that is the whistle boards. And we do have uh, this situation going on. So we could stick a whistle board up here. We do need a signal here anyway. Whether we will go down and uh, continue to head that way, which we will be. Yes, we will be later on. So we might as well signal that up yeah well, why not we'll signal that up what's going to happen the other side the other side's possibly going to be a dead end and a reversing point and once we've got uh, the diesels come around 
we can double head it and have them reversing on top tail or two at the top, two at the bottom. Which means this one can go a bit longer and possibly stop up here somewhere. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of that. So let's get some signaling done. Are we going to be crossing? No, we can just go with standard signals, I think. Is that facing the right way? Yes, it is. We can have one way there. Why are you trying to draw grass? Don't draw grass. There we go. And that's only got one possible route. While I was reading and researching, uh, they were like, I don't think we have them here, but at an angle, they would have these and uh, double-headed signals where the secondary signal always had a red light. So there we go. That was interesting. So that could be a possibility. I'm just going to go with keep it simple. Uh, obviously, that can't be one way if we're going to be turning around in there. So we'll make that two way. That works, doesn't it? Uh, that's guarding this. We do need a crossover here and now we can afford it. If we're going to have a train that reverses down here, we don't want catenary on, do we? There we go. 55 should be fine. We can have a double-headed signal. Yeah, why not? We do want that one way, though. And top route would be mainline. Uh, top route. Top head would be mainline. Bottom one is a diverging into the station. Lovely. So we've got that sorted. But whistleboards. Where would we have a whistleboard? For transport fever, we just want them close, don't we? So we can hear the whistle. So let's get those in. I think I can play it now. Yeah, let's play it now. Sometimes, the reason I pause this, I, I've mentioned it, but oh no, 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 no. <laughs> I almost did it. Yeah, I was going to say sometimes I pause it to allow us to make any adjustments to lines that the game might uh, change. Uh, the other reason would be not to run out of money because we've got a lot of outgoings maintenance wise before we uh, see payments. So we could dip back into the red and we can't take a loan out currently. So I'd like to get this sorted and then we can uh, deal with loans and stuff. In fact, we'll pay off as much as we can. Right, what we need is waypoints, uh, the whistle boards. We've got crossing posts, uh, generic whistle boards and station posts. We're going to go with the generic. The reason being is I'm fairly confident the vanilla locos don't have multiple whistle selections and that's what these are for there's like long horns short horns and standard and uh, we don't have that option tall i don't know what they're like yeah i kind of like that that'll uh, blow its whistle there there we go just to add a bit of variety and a bit of life to the to the route i mean you can do this i think with the standard game now? Where's the whistle board for the game? Is it just this? Passing trains use their horns, so just the P now uh, in the vanilla game will do that. But we're gonna use the mod that I've got installed. The mods are listed in the description below, not individually. I've made a collection on Steam, so you can grab all these as a, a, a sort of slimline starter pack or any North American theme map. There we go, we've got our whistle boards. We'll just stick one in for now. And uh, that's all we'll need. Obviously, we've got the station ones and things like that that we could put in. Then we'll go for a bit of blocking just to uh, keep trains moving on this section. We do need some under the tunnel as well, don't we? Where, where are we here? I probably would like uh, a short clearing signal back here because there's no way it's going to block anything if it has to wait at this signal, even if it's crossing. Because uh, if there's a train waiting here, its back end isn't going to also be making any train going this way wait there. But since there wouldn't, I doubt there would be an actual signal there, what we can do is use like a dwarf signal or something just to hide it, but have it functional as well. So we'd have a little dwarf one-way signal there. I'm probably going to use dwarf signals and under the tunnel as well, just to ensure that they're not clipping anywhere the uh, the assets themselves. So we'll just uh, signal all the way under the tunnel with those. They kind of work though, don't they, for under a tunnel? The uh, the dwarf signals. 
Yeah, there we go. We'll put those in there. Lovely. Oh, roads in the way. Uh, is that the right way? Yep, that way and that way. Yeah, we've got some blocking under the tunnel. They're a bit short, but we're also uh, approaching a diverging piece of track here that heads off there. So uh, I tend to have them shorter as you're approaching places where we've got junctions and stuff. And then a bit further apart, more on the main line. So it's a little bit speed dependent. Right, on here, are we in danger of blocking? I just saw an eagle there. Where are, where are you? I saw it. Where's that eagle go? Was it an eagle? I think it was. Oh, I can't see it now. Never mind. Yeah, we'll do the same here in case uh, our coal and iron train are following each other. We want them to keep moving. So we'll just have a, a signal there to keep trains moving. We've got a tunnel here and it looks a good spot, doesn't it, for a couple of signals anyway. So we'll stick those in there. I mean, they're cheap as chips, really, aren't they? They're only like 1700 Then we'll switch to standard signals along here. Um, what I might do is have these, and then we'll go with, like, dwarf signals or something in between. So there's just... There's not a bunch of uh, tall signals along the track, uh, which would be too much. Then we can hide, can't we, the, uh, the functioning signals a little bit yeah when you're looking from distance then you won't notice all the dwarf signals that are uh, functioning and keeping our trains moving but uh, leaning more to transport fevers mechanics there we go that should work and then we'll have like a little dwarf signal down here there we go perfect not the correct use for them but we'll have them in there for our needs anyway and we can have a, a shorter one running here, can't we? There we go. Oh, that's actually... No, that I would not like there. There is the potential for a snarl up there at some point. So we'll leave that. Uh, our back ends could cross, couldn't they? It's, um, yes. Yes, leave that alone. That could get very, very iffy. Right, do we just want... A gantry going across here probably probably um no actually we could we could go with um this side couldn't we i think we've got some signals we can place on not those we can place on the other side do we yeah there we go we just want those two way though one there and then we'll flip onto that side and have one there i think that makes more sense than a massive gantry going across needless expense although i'm not sure the actual gantry mod costs any money okay we've got all that set up i just noticed here machines that takes steel well there we go would we want that to be a some sort of shunting line separate from the main line down here or would trucks make more sense? Trucks might make more sense. We could definitely join into the main line though, couldn't we, from here? I don't know who needs machines. I guess we can find out, can't we? Consumers. Providence, Clearwater and Athens. Well, I know Clearwater is all the way down there. Providence, um, isn't that on the way down? Yeah, that's on the main line. There we go. We could branch off. And... Clearwater's up there. Where's Athens? Wow, right at the back there. Yeah, we can we can send some machines down the east corridor and then some more down the west corridor. Okay, plans are afoot. I like it. Yeah, we we can reuse this piece of track. We can branch into there for that way. And then we can take this down to our freight hub once it's set down that way and drop it off. That's almost perfect. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. <laughs> if that ever tries to close, we'd need to bring uh, wood in, which we've got here. So we're going to have to keep an eye on these two and this. Because uh, this is kind of nice setup, isn't it? We can even branch down 
into here with our wood and drop it off at uh, Palmdale Steel Mill or Palmdale East, I think that's called, which kind of works for a station name. I don't mind that. Yes, okay. So are we happy with the block here? I'm going to hit play. I think I'm happy with everything. No, you're not going to hit play. What are you going to do? We're going to pay this off, aren't we? Yeah, what was it you can hold? Shift to replay, repay big chunks. Yeah, there you go. 10 million at a time, isn't it, Shift? Perfect. Or 10 times, 5 million, perhaps. Right, guys, let's keep an eye on things. We've got our blocking. It does mean we can start this up when we have the funds. Uh, it's going to be around about 10 million we're going to need. And uh, that's not what we've got. How are we doing here? We should have our line rate doubled. 88 and 77. Again, uh, the actual freight line. That won't be the line rate, will it? No, we'll have to wait for that. Do you have fuel on? You should do. Yes. These two are going to meet each other, are they? Well, this would be interesting. I feel like... Who's going to get there first? This guy. No, this guy is going to get to... Where's the blocking signal for this? It's that one there. It's currently two-way, which is okay, because I'm not sure what we're doing with that yet. Your clearing signal is just there. So, yes, you will have to wait for him, possibly. No, I think you're going to get it. Who's going to get it, guys? <laughs> Who's got the green? You have the green. There we go. There we go. That works. Because you're going to pay us out, out some money and you are not. You're just loading. Although you are going to pay us out money eventually. That was nice, words, wasn't it? I think that's how it actually goes most of the time. We have uh, the one entering the station that waits for the, the one with our money on. This is going to become less and less of an issue once we... Uh, merge the trains we're gonna half the amount of trains on the track but the same capacity so we're going to be dealing with uh much longer trains well double the size uh we might be able to stick another wagon on it as well that will mean we'll need some possible storage or increased storage because we'll be shipping quite a bit at a time it's certainly going to make this helix interesting double helix the uh, uh chesapeake helix because uh, our trains are going to be twice as long, aren't they? So, yeah, he's going to be round there still. Oh, that's nice. Very, very North American with the big old uh, big old trains going down the, uh, the tracks. Because they're a bit small at the moment, aren't they? A bit short. Oh, I do like the sound of the screeching wheels. Beautiful. All right, how are we doing here? Are you... Uh, I mean, it's, it's taken a while for this to load. We should be close to matching line rates, though. Yeah, we could send it off, possibly. We could certainly uh, get these to fill this up before he gets back. I'm hoping we can time it all perfectly. What's the date? 1923. I've got to remember, 1925, we're going to have to pause it. I could fast forward time a little bit. How close are we here? Okay. I mean, it's not too far off, is it? No. You're about there. You should be running at full speed, pretty much. We did run at full speed, didn't we? I'd have to double check the uh, the outro, the cab ride. I might have to fast forward it. Yeah, I think fast forwarding it will be useful. When we see a payment come in, we'll pause it and pay that off. Because I'd like us to get at least some iron up and running. Maybe today? I don't know. He's really taking a while, isn't he, to load up. It's understandable, though. This is a first load. you got to remember that uh, when he's doing this, this journey, the little shunting service down to the steel mill, these guys will be continually dropping off into here. Not only making us money. Oh, there we go. Pause that. Another new industry. We'll check on that now because, oh, it's right there. I didn't even see that pop up. I bet if I played it back, I can uh, I can see that during editing. <laughs> it popped up right there. Another, well, I mean, it's an option. I don't like it. It's a bit close. 
it might be better suited to uh, some trucking should we want to use this for maybe plastics instead isn't that what's down there it kind of defeats the purpose though doesn't it of having fancy railroads i like the idea of taking stuff all the way up north and all the way down south but uh we're gonna have industries popping up all the time do we have enough money we can take out three million it's not quite enough is it so let's repay all of that oh i could have done the shift trick but forgot and we'll continue to fast forward how are we doing here not bad we're going to be on the way soon aren't we yeah i'm eager to see how much this is going to make us it's not the longest journey but it is longer than possibly than what we've got here uh going up up to clearwater past uh, beaumont there yeah beaumont we're gonna have to bring into play as well I'm going to keep uh, delivery. Oh, that's not the way we need to be. I'm going to keep the deliveries to uh, a, a fake maximum so that our towns don't grow too big because we all know what that means. That means the end of the map sooner because uh, performance just tanks completely. Oh, yes. You shift, Grand. That, that should be all of it, shouldn't it? Replay. Replay. Repay. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Shift borrow. Not quite. No, not quite. I'm going to pay it all off. We're almost there. Because we'll need the trucks, won't we? Up this end as well. And I would... Oh, it could be a shorter train, though. Make your mind up, Gran. Good to, do we want to get it loading? I think we do, don't we? Before the end. It would be lovely. We can have a shorter train. Uh, because it's got a shorter journey. And eventually, we could have a, a smaller unit on the front as well, a smaller loco. You're going to have to come out of here, though. Ah, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, could we build a bypass track? I mean, it seems a bit excessive, but it would it would solve this. This is almost becoming an actual uh, an actual station setup, isn't it? See, this is won't that won't work. Uh, that's unfortunate. Is it because? we're branching out what happens if we just do it like that no sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't there must be a way or a reason do you have to start within our oh, i'll experiment guys see if i can't find out how to make that work basically the same consist technically isn't it we could sort of duplicate that um, but we'll rebuild it what we should do is get this up and running we do have everything in place and we can call that uh, staging as well it's the same sort of thing isn't it so a line manager let's have a new line and we're going to run from here to there make sure we've clicked on green street i like it lots of trees they're gray trees at the moment now uh, what color are we going for we're going for irony color in game so we'll go with that that works and that'll be uh, is this Palm, Palmdale still? It would be, wouldn't it? Palmdale Iron Staging. That's what we're going with. All right, naming sorted. So we've got the sidings there. Uh, this is a bit shorter, isn't it? Possibly three. I'm going to start with two again because this one is going to take a while to get here anyway. So at least we'll be uh, slightly ahead of the train. Cargo. And we're going to stick with these ones. We don't have any tippers yet. Um, we'll go with two. Two works. Uh, we can't colour them until they're on the line. And we'll make them the same colour as the line. And we'll stick you on Palmdale. Iron staging. That should be it, shouldn't it? Yeah, how much do we have uh, to build the consist? Oh, we've got 10 million. Wait, where did we get all that other money from? Never mind, we've got more than enough. We can rebuild this. Although that would be silly. I don't think we need that. We could, of course, add to this, couldn't we? Yes, I like it. Should we do that? Should we add one more on here? There's 132 capacity currently. For the ones we add, I'm just going to leave them default colour. Stick you on there. Um, you're all bunched up, but that's fine. And then we'll go with two less than this one, I think. 
Yeah, that'd be that'd be ideal, wouldn't it? Buy vehicle. Let's get you set up and pick you. We'll have we'll have the trains, uh, the locos themselves, default colour, but we'll colour the the wagons cargo. And how many of these do we want? Well, we might as well keep those default colour. There we go. Keep the gondolas default colour. We had 132 before, so when we get to 132, we'll take one off. And it's 9.8 million. Does that mean we can actually afford... Yeah, we can actually afford a... Uh, a bit of a repayment there. There we go. Still got some loan available. We haven't created the line yet. Ooh! Let's set up this so that it's uh, doing its fancy that I want to do. Manage line. What we're going to do is both the coal and iron will prioritize this platform. And then the uh, if it's full or if it's being used, then it will switch over to the other side and cross traffic. So Palmdale, is this Palmdale East? Yeah, Palmdale East. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. All right, that one's set up. They had me scratching my head there because it was a bright color. Now we need uh, that one to run and do the same thing up here. One and then two as uh, optional. There we go. We've got the, the, the light grays here. Although they're reverse on here, isn't there? It's a bright tick and a light tick. And, and then the reverse on here. But this works, doesn't it? Oh, I like the colour scheme. The black and the red, except you're not going to be that, are you? You're going to be Bumbly Bee type thing. Just a lighter, lighter orange. I like it. Right, we've got that sorted. This is uh, Palm Dale Iron Freight. Now we can stick our train that's waiting for us in the depot on the newly created line. I, I think everything should be fine. Now, can, ooh, uh, can we get across there? Is it, we don't have any one-way signals blocking, do we? We have a signal there. We don't have a signal guarding this at the moment. Uh, it's a little bit worrying about how long our trains are going to be. I'm hoping they fit in this block okay. We can stick one here. We don't want it crossing over though, so one way. And we'll just stick that back there. I think we'll have enough room for a double the size of these yeah we should be more than enough room we'll be fine right lovely just in case there's a train coming the other way i guess <laughs> i guess we should have some sort of signaling going on here even though it's temporary i sort of like it in fact i do like it so we'll get one of these we'll make them two-way we'll just have these controlling access to the uh, the spur or the branch is this a spur or a branch spur isn't it more than anything yeah, spur. There we go. That should save any issues there. Let's get our train on the... Uh, not any of those. See what we can see. Uh, Palmdale Iron Freight. That's it, guys. We're set up. Yes, I like that. We're going to probably ride... I, I, should, I tell you what. Should we ride this one fully this time? I know we've done the other ride before, but we've got a bit more traffic now. We're going to have a full load. Let's watch our train come out there. There's the iron train. They should be, uh, yeah, we can see them at a glance as well, that this is iron and that's coal. I mean, we'll be able to see anyway, even if they were the same color, because you'd, you'd see coal in one and iron in the other, because it's not covered. Isn't that lovely? Oh yeah, the signaling up here, dwarf signals green for our iron train which is absolutely perfect you are almost full this here all this randomness is because we added some more capacity to our train and they're just i don't know why it's chosen a different one but that's what you've done but yeah we're almost there aren't we these carry seven at a time there we go yeah we've only got 24 there and uh, another eight on there is that so we'll, uh, we'll let him go and start picking up iron. Do we have iron underway? This is all working. That's excellent. <laughs> I should have checked that possibly. So you'll have some iron to pick up. Oh, do you know what I've not done? 
unfortunately, he's going to take a while to get here. But uh, we do need to set this to wait until full, don't we? For eternity. Full load any. I don't think we really need to set up any uh, conditions there. So we'll leave the uh, type of cargo as, there we go, as default. Right. You should start to uh, put iron on the platform. Beautiful. You have iron. And uh, is it, it's very busy up here, isn't it? But it is working. Here we go. It is working. You're going to have to wait for that guy. I don't know why there's an apple tree there. Get rid of that. You're going to have to wait for that guy to get off the bridge. Uh, this signal is protecting the bridge. And we can only have one train at a time over it. Just because of the uh, nature of the bridge. It's less... <laughs> I'm just going off on a tangent here. This is, yeah, it's a, it's a weak bridge. It's not strong enough to hold two trains at once. Is that what we're running with? I mean, it'd be less maintenance, wouldn't it, as well? Uh, less stress on it over time. Come on, then. How, it's quite a way round there, isn't it? We should get a green, though, fairly shortly. Go on. Give us a green. And we don't have a clearing signal up there, which is, I guess, okay. Sometimes that may mean a train heading north would would uh, make this wait longer. But this one's off the main line anyway. Yeah, I don't mind that. Don't mind that at all. But there we go. Our iron train is off. We could call that Jeremy, couldn't we? Jeremy Irons. We could call this Robbie or John or uh, Sheriff Roscoe. I believe. Maybe. I can't remember. There's a few uh, coal trains, isn't there? What we got here? What date is it? 1924. Um, ooh, we got a little tanker there. And a, a tarpaulin truck, is that? Yeah. I thought it was a tipper then. These are interesting ones. AMO F-15 tank truck. Oh, you're nearly full. Look at this. Guys, this is going to be perfect. We're going to ride this on its actual journey. We are signalled up now. Aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have a little bit of scenery. There's quite a bit more traffic. Where's our iron train? Where's our iron train? Just uh, leaving the bridge section now. Entering, uh, this used to be a dynamic passing loop. It's more just uh, double tracking now, isn't it? Just enters the main, double track main line. Right, guys. I'm happy with that. We've got, I'm a little bit surprised. I have saved it, so we don't have to worry about... Uh, losing out on money and stuff and the time going past the uh, the 1925 mile post where we're going to slow things right down so we can stay with steam a bit longer but we got iron up and running today that's the full steel shenanigans done and uh, we got uh, some whistle boards in which is nice we'll uh, hopefully get to see those working and not crash the game when we go past them i've not heard of the game crashing i was just waiting for our truck i can just about hear it behind us it's going to deliver our final four there it goes beautiful timing uh, there's a green light for us and we're gonna inch up what well, inch up it's not it's quite a journey isn't it along the bank here before we get to the signal controlling the bridge i love that one i am happy because we got that set up pretty quickly uh, we did fast forward it a little bit but uh, as far as income goes this is going to be a nice boost for us. We might be able to uh, double up on our trains on the, the corridor, the main line, next time out. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? That will reduce the traffic, but maintain the capacity. So, uh, the, the sort of thing I like to do when, when playing these, these types of games, especially Transport Fever, is have uh, longer trains rather than more trains. Otherwise, it gets a bit arcadey, doesn't it? And since we're in North America, we've definitely got to go with the long trains. Guys, I'll leave you with a, an extra long journey today, I think. Yeah, it's, it should be a, a quite a journey. We got to the tunnel last time, but there wasn't much going on past the tunnel, was there? there were, we didn't have any signalling or anything. And we had less traffic on the, on the line. Yeah, on the road. <laughs> you can call it a road, can't you? Railroad? Yeah, there we go. So, uh, where's the horn? I had to do the horn. I just had to. 
All right, then. I'll leave you on board. I need to tidy up those rocks as well. We will do more with the scenery and make it look lovely uh, as we progress through the series. But uh, for now, there's our signal. We've got a green. Lovely. We're straight onto the main line and the bridge is ours. So, until next time, take care.